Welcome back to the channel everyone real quick if this is a video that you guys can kind of just listen to in the background It is a seed mission uh, In DCS played in the back big thanks to Swoozy also real quick subscribe if you haven't already only about 5% of my viewers are currently subscribed and it helps out the channel quite a bit Okay, so today we are talking about a leak list true or not. It does have a couple interesting things on it including major seed rework cluster munitions and guidance rework for you know anti-aircraft and with another leak list that just came out just really recently and will be a topic of videos a couple of new interesting aircraft the f-15e the uh, sk-33 osa which has been on a leak list for a while now and the f-117 so we're going to go over quite a few topics in this video so make sure to stick around to the end so first off cast rework this is Something that has been needed in the books now for a while and it's good to see that it's about time That is something that people are talking about. So what we like to what I'd like to see is New AA obviously Russia doesn't really need the 9k 33 I think at the moment But I mean if we get the f-15e and we get the AGM 88 C harm and we get the f-117 then yeah, I can understand why. So new AA is the base fundamental for that. We need to see new AA to be able to see SEED better. And SEED stands for Suppression of Enemy Air Defense. So suppression of enemy, you know, radar systems like SA-15 sites, Pantsiers, you know, you name it, that, that is SEED. So what I would like to see in the next year, in the next updates, is obviously rework to AA, getting new AA into the game to then see things like harms, high-speed anti-radiation missiles. So that'd be like the AGM-88. I do not remember the Russian counterpart. But the way that harms work is by tracking the radar sites to AA. So if you are an enemy air AA and you're launching at, say, an F-16, and you have a harm, the harm will follow that AA's radar trajectory and at extremely high speeds, it can be very dangerous. Now, there's a lot of ways to necessarily avoid this. One of those simply being turning your radar off and repositioning um, for some sites that, you know, you can't obviously just reposition. So turning off your radar is your only hope in later model um, harms that, you know, they will continuously track towards the same spot. So you would, you know, obviously if you're a SAM site that can't move, you might have some danger. Now, another thing I think that cast that I would really like to see is rework of multipath. And I understand how that can be, you know, an issue in terms of air to air, but multipathing really is not a thing in real life. Missiles can hit you at extremely low altitudes. So I think for, you know, AA to have a better chance against modern aircraft we would need to see the ability to hit aircraft at lower altitudes now another big thing i want to talk about is stealth and how stealth can interfere with all this because if you know this leak list has any truth to it we might see the f-117 in you know very very soon and yes that technically only comes with either two you know gbus or maybe even a gm 65s those are not a lot of cast ordnance, but the stealth aspect of it. How effective can stealth be? I know a lot of you are aware that F-117 has been lost in combat before in 1999, but that is the only shootdown of a stealth aircraft, and it was actually completely a lock. They happened to turn the you know radar on and off on the system, reshot a bunch of missiles into the sky. It's like throwing rocks into the sky. Eventually, if you're lucky enough, you might hit something, and they got lucky enough and hit it. So, that necessarily is a luck thing. I think in-game, with the F-117 and at least early stealth aircraft, it shouldn't have a massive effect. It would basically mean you could stay at ranges where the, you could stay high and the AA not be able to see you. I do think there have to be an eventual dead zone where your um, stealth is not effective. Or, I mean, side on your stealth loses its effectiveness. Rear aspect, your stealth obviously loses effectiveness. All of that can has to get modeled into the game. So there is quite a bit that needs to get modeled to see, you know, seed and cast rework. But stealth shouldn't really have too many effects. I mean, the issue is to make it more fair to ground air to AA. You need to take away multipathing, which 
would have issues in terms of actual Air RB gameplay, but I think Gaijin can figure out how to model it correctly and get it to to work. So I, I'm not I'm not too necessarily worried about it. I think we're just gonna have to wait and play it by ear and see. Now another munition brought up on this leak list is the that um, cluster munitions. And what cluster munitions are are they're basically droplets of bombs. They're super super effective against radar sites, AA um, in game. That's all they'd be effective against. They don't have a lot of explosive mass, but they cover quite a bit. It just basically allows you to come in at very fast speeds, low altitude. Uh, and hit a lot of small areas or a, a big massive area with a lot of small bombs to take out enemy radar and even if it isn't enough to kill enemy AA systems enough to take out the ability to shoot at you and then either hit them with a JDAM or hit them with some other type of ordnance so I think cluster munitions would be a really cool thing to see now I have a lot of high hopes for this other leak which is the F-15E and the you know the duck the, the fullback for Russia, and the OSA and the F-117. Now, the F-15E is an aircraft that would just be a F cross between an F-16C in terms of cast with the air, you know, air-to-air -air of an F-15. It, it's nothing. It'd have a better engines, better radar, worse flight model, but good cast. It, it would be very, very nice to see come to the game. I think it'll be a lot of fun. I, again, guys, I don't think... You know, stealth is going to break air to ground. I think it will be hard to see stealth aircraft front lawn. I think, yeah, there's no chance for any AA system to see a stealth aircraft at, you know, far ranges and at high altitudes. But I do think if Model Right and the aircraft messes up, it shouldn't be too hard to kill it. Just that's how I think it should model. be modeled into the game. I do want to point out that throughout all of seed and all of the cast rework we do have to see new aa for the u.s either maybe the hawk or the avenger i would very 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 much like to see um, modern aa stationary sites for simulator or even for rb just to add some nice new targets in you know air rb or sim especially in sim as base defense either sa-15s or SA-200 or Patriot, it, that that is what I would very, that's what I think that should happen, honestly. Let me know what everyone's opinions are down in the comments. I want to know what your guys' thoughts are with all of this. Do you guys think Cass needs to get reworked? Do you guys think Cass, you know, this it's fine as is? I really want to see the seed aspect of it, the expression of enemy air defense. That's, that is my really big hope for this next few major updates. I do think with the arrival of the Hornet in December, if we do see it, which I think we will, we do need to see the high-speed anti-radiation missiles because those are very, very crucial in, you know, anti, in, in seed. And it is a principle of air-to-ground ordnance found on both the F-16 and the F-18. Obviously, Russia getting their counterparts on the Su-24 and the Su, uh, the fullback, and any other cab, MiG-27, I think, can carry it. But that is what I, that's what I think we should see. I do, I'm very hopeful for a, a big cast rework. It would be very nice to see. I am looking forward to it. I just want to know what everyone's thoughts are in the comments. And make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. It helps out the channel. Discord will be linked in the description. And again, big shout out to Swoozy for helping me, for actually getting the footage that you guys see before you. And I will catch you guys in the next video.